Hello, faith leader, and welcome to Break Time. Today, Psalm 18, 19 says, He brought me into a spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. I love this. I love this psalm because I love the word spacious place. God doesn't bring us into crowded places. I mean, noisy places, the places where that noise commands our attention and directs our steps. Instead, God brings us into places that are spacious. There's lots of room to think. There's lots of room to move. There's lots of room to, to walk with him. He doesn't crowd us and, you know, try to control us by crowding us, but he, he takes us to a place that is spacious. I love that. Love that because there's nothing that I, it does it for me is when I'm out in nature, how spacious of a place that is. It's not crowded, it's not filled. Sometimes it has a lot of noise, but it's not a crowded noise. It's, it gives me a place to release, you know, what's going on in here. But God is not interested in our minds being so busy that there's no space for him. That our hearts are so, con so motivated by the things of this world that there is no space for him to, to be our motivator. That's not God. God is the one that loves space. You know, he loves the facts that we, we give him room. We allow him room. But he removed us, the passage before this said, he rescued me from the enemies, you know, and now I'm into this place where now I have space because God delights in us. It, he dances over us. He rejoices over you. He rejoices over me. He's not saddened by us. He's not grieved by us. He's not disappointed in us. You know, yes, there may be things that disappoint him, but he's not disappointed in us. He's not pointing his finger. He's welcoming us into this space, this green pasture, this place that continues to grow with him. Is your mind so busy that you don't recognize the space that God has? Is your heart so conflicted that it, it doesn't even, can't even begin to imagine this place that I'm referring to? Children of God, then it's time to get alone. It's time, you know, to, to withdraw a little bit from the place, you know, the spaces that are crowding your mind, crowding your heart and find a place to rest and realize that that's the place that God can teach us some of the greatest riches that he has for us. You know, it's not in the crowded places. God is in the crowded places, but we recognize him and grow in him when the, the space where he can be is growing. Does that make sense? Allow him that space. Allow him that space where he can show you who he is, that he can bring us revelation, that he can begin to speak to us, you know, in space, in this space. If, you're, if you have no space where God can speak, then your life is way too crowded. My life is way too crowded. Get, draw back. Don't be afraid to take those five to 10 minutes in the morning before your feet even hit the floor or before you go any place and just realize the space that God wants in your life. And you, my friend, have a great day creating